State of Saga could be a huge P2E game in 2022, and I'm going to be telling you guys exactly why in today's video. So yeah, Fate of Saga, as you guys can see here, the beginning and ending of everything, transform, collect, and earn. I'm going to be telling you guys all about Fate of Saga today, so you're, you're going to want to stick around. I'm going to stop waffling and get straight on into today's video for you guys. So yeah, let's get straight on into it. So you guys are probably wondering, how can I benefit off this game? Um, what's so good about it? What's different to what you've looked at in the past? Well, I'm going to be telling you guys all about that right now. So you guys can see right here, synthetic asset investment. Um, you know, why does the NFT have to be limited to one game? Release NFT with the same view as synthetic assets. With NFT designed to create long-term value as a stock, add value and extend the fun of our long-term plan, enrich your NFT asset. The more games you play, the more valuable you get. Um, that's a few things that, you know, uh, are related to this project. You guys also should should know, this is a little description about the project. Um, it's a sci-fi fantasy turn-based P2E game. Um, it allows players to make their characters, items, and companions as an NFT asset um, or transfer your NFTs to other games freely. Um, and they can be traded, obviously, worldwide um, over the marketplaces. Which is very, very, very cool. So you guys are probably wondering, obviously, Fate of Saga, tell me a bit more as well. You guys can see Fate of Saga, obviously, I've already mentioned this a little bit. It's a tactical turn-based um, RPG game on the Binance Smart Chain. That's one thing for you guys to know. Very, very, very good blockchain, in my opinion. Low fees, fast transaction times, basically what you'd want um, out, out of a blockchain. The basics there. Um, you can see your team, unique 3D characters with five classes, a well raised for choose. Um, there are hero, fighter, ranger, tank, and support. Each class has their outstanding point with different characters' um, skill. And the story as well, if you guys are interested in the story of this project, then I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Um, I'm not going to read through it too much in today's video because obviously I don't want to, you know, extend this video too long for you guys. But it's definitely very, very cool. I've already took a little um, breeze over it. And it, in my opinion, I think it's very, 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 very cool. Obviously, you can check out the socials as well. 30,000 followers over on Twitter, which is a very, 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 very nice number. Um, definitely something you want to see um, for, for a project like this. In terms of, you know, how much has the community engaged with, you know, the socials and in this case with their 30,000 followers, um, the community definitely are looking at it as, you know, a very, very good project in their opinion. Um, obviously, the tokenomics as well. A few things I wanted to know about that. you got dollar FOFS, um, which is Fate of Saga. Um, um, the FOFS token is Fate of Saga's native token that can be received by the exchange on decks, playing games and participating in our activities. Um, dollar Atter as well, the Atteric token, beside FOFS. Um, a Toric token is another essential token that impacts the game's ecosystem. So you've got two tokens there to keep in your mind um, if you're interested in this, in this project. Obviously, you've got the FOFS token and the Atter token. Um, obviously, there's a different way to say it. I say it like that because it's easier for you guys um, to know. Obviously, characters as well. You can go over to the character page on the Fate of Saga website um, and get a quick preview. Very, 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 very cool um, in terms of you know what they what they're developing here. And you guys can see obviously Akka, class fighter description. Um, Akka is a government intelligence with a variety of sufficient talents. You can see very, very, very cool artwork. Something that I'm definitely a fan of. And um, you got AI as well here. I can invoke um, magical creatures that can be a support team in the games. Obviously, all the artwork here um, generated very, very, very nicely. You see very, very, very high quality. Something that I always look for in projects is professionalism, um, how nice the artwork really does look. Um, what Fate of Saga have done here um, is an excellent job in my opinion. Obviously, we've got weapons as well. So obviously it's not just characters. We got weapons as well over here. Um, we see the Night Great Sword. Um, obviously Night Great Swords down here. You got the Night Long Sword as well. Um, and obviously you guys can come over here. You can see loads of different things. You see guns as well. You got the Night Pistol and the Gaia Pistol and Gaia Rifle. You know you got all these different weapons um, and each individual artwork looks very, very, very professional in my opinion. I know I go on about it a lot about how I like professionalism um, within these projects and how I think, you know, professionalism is very, very, very key. And what Fate of Saga have done here in terms of the layout of the website, um, the artwork, um, you know, the plans for the future, I think it's very, very, very professional. And that's one thing I wanted to get onto here. And um, when I talk about the team, we've got a team of a lot of people um, all working in their own sectors here. Also, we've got Bird, um, Win, Mint, Art, Gan, and Ake. Obviously, sorry if I pronounce some of them names wrong. It's the way I pronounce it. Um, we've got a team 
um, of a lot of people here working on their own individual sectors, which again is something that makes me very, very bullish whenever I look at projects. Um, obviously, you can see the roadmap as well. Um, we can see 2021 obviously already completed. Um, when we come into 2022, um, we can see obviously quarter one 2022 white paper v.2, uh, listen on coin market cap, listen on decks, private sell, release game story, comic airdrop events. Obviously, airdrop events are going on, um, uh, which is which is very 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 cool. Um, we can see launch marketplace as well, quarter two 2022, open and close alpha, IDO, open beta, launch Fate of Saga game, promoting and streaming game, monthly content, starting game tournament uh, events, and then tournaments as well. Um, we've got a whole list of things which Fate of Saga have planned up and coming, which, you know, just make me very, very, very bull uh, bullish in terms of, you know, stuff they have planned, if they come, if they carry, few, uh, carry through uh, and, and come in clutch with what they've said, I definitely do think that this project is one to keep on your radar. But obviously, it's not financial advice, guys. Always invest in risk, do research, guys. I always tell you guys this. Invest in risk, do research. Always you know, look at a project for yourself. Because I'm just showing you guys projects that I like. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you join my Discord down below. I love talking crypto and NFTs with you guys. And make sure you subscribe. And notifications on for two new videos today. No, guys, it's not financial advice. Always invest in risk, do research. Invest in risk, do research, guys. Invest in risk, do research. Invest in risk, do research, guys. Invest in risk, do research. Invest in risk, do research. Invest in risk, do research, guys. Invest in risk, do research. Invest in risk, do research. Peace.